ਜਸ ਟੀਵੀ ਦੇਖਦੇ ਸਾਰੇ ਦਰਸ਼ਕਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਮੇਰੇ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਪਿਆਰ ਭਰੀ ਸਤਿ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਅਕਾਲ ਮੈਂ ਆਸ਼ਮਿਤਾ ਤੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਵੇਖ ਰਹੇ ਹੋ ਸਪੈਸ਼ਲ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਜਸਟ ਹੈਲਪਲਾਈਨ ਪੂਰੇ ਹਫਤੇ ਤੋਂ ਇਹ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਸ਼ੇਅਰ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਹਾਂ ਤਾਂ ਕਿ ਇਸ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਦੇ ਜ਼ਰੀਏ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਇਸ ਗਲੋਬਲ ਹੈਲਥ ਕ੍ਰਾਈਸਿਸ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਲੋੜ ਹੈਗੀ ਕਿਸੇ ਹੈਲਪ ਦੀ ਜਾਂ ਅਗਰ ਉਹ ਕੋਈ ਹੈਲਪ ਕਰਨਾ ਚਾਹੁੰਦੇ ਆ ਉਹ ਇੱਕ ਦੂਜੇ ਨਾਲ ਕਨੈਕਟ ਹੋ ਕੇ ਸਪੋਰਟ ਕਰਨ ਤਾਂ ਕਿ ਆਪਾਂ ਸਾਰੇ ਅੱਗੇ ਵੀ ਕੈਨ ਮੂਵ ਫਾਰਵਰਡ ਐਂਡ ਹੋਪਫੁਲੀ ਕਮ ਆਊਟ ਸਟਰੋਂਗਰ ਔਨ ਦੀ ਅਦਰ ਸਾਈਡ ਆਫ ਥਿਸ ਪੈਂਡੈਮਿਕ ਇਸ ਐਫਰਟ ਵਿੱਚ ਸਾਰੇ ਹਫਤੇ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਲਈ ਵਕਫਕ ਗੈਸਟਸ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਆਏ ਆ ਤੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਗੱਲਾਂ ਬਾਤਾਂ ਕੀਤੀਆਂ ਕਿ ਉਹ ਕੀ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਆ ਇਸ ਵੇਲੇ ਕੋਰੋਨਾ ਵਾਇਰਸ ਦੇ ਰਿਲੀਫ ਲਈ ਐਂਡ ਇਹ ਵੀ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਜਾਣਕਾਰੀ ਦੇਣਾ ਚਾਹੁੰਦੇ ਆ ਕਿ ਸਿਰਫ ਇਹ ਇੱਕ ਇੰਡੀਵਿਜੂਅਲ ਲੈਵਲ ਤੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੋ ਰਹੀ ਇਹ ਰਿਲੀਫ ਐਫਰਟ ਕਿ ਕਿੰਨੀ ਸਾਰੀ ਆਰਗੇਨਾਈਜੇਸ਼ਨਸ ਇਸ ਵੇਲੇ ਕੰਮ ਤੇ ਲੱਗੀਆਂ ਹੋਈਆਂ ਤਾਂ ਕਿ ਨਾ ਕਿ ਸਿਰਫ ਜੋ ਮੈਡੀਕਲ ਸਾਈਡ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਬਟ ਜੋ ਬਾਕੀ ਸਾਰੀ ਚੀਜ਼ਾਂ ਇੰਪੈਕਟ ਹੋਈ ਹਨ ਕੋਰੋਨਾ ਵਾਇਰਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਉੱਥੇ ਵੀ ਥੋੜੀ ਜੀ ਟੈਨਸ਼ਨ ਹੋਣੀ ਚਾਹੀਦੀ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਇਹ ਇਹਦੇ ਲਈ ਅੱਜ ਮੈਂ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਆਈ ਹਾਂ ਇੱਕ ਸਪੈਸ਼ਲ ਇੰਡੀਵਿਜੂਅਲ ਫਰਮ ਦੀ ਆਰਗੇਨਾਈਜੇਸ਼ਨ ਸਿੱਖ ਕੋਲੀਸ਼ਨ ਜੋ ਕੰਮ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਨ ਹਿਊਮਨ ਰਾਈਟਸ and uh, civil liberties they which united states which taki jo apne sikh hage te uh, human rights for all people actually um una de rights infringe na hon te aj mere naal is cheez se thodi gal karan layi uh, please welcome me uh, in uh, please join me in welcoming uh, miss amrit kaur the legal director at sikh coalition amrit welcome to the show Hi Ashmita, thank you for having me. Of course. Uh first of all, thank you so much for taking the time. So no pata ki is vele Sikh coalition kinni zyada busy hai. You guys are swamped. There's so many things that have come on your table as a result of coronavirus. So sab to pehle thank you so much to thoda ya time sade le kar diya aaj gal karan le. I'm happy to be here. This is really important information that we have to get out to the community. Ji, ji, definitely. Um Amrit, uh, you know, uh, let's get started with a little bit. Jinanu nahi pata ki sikolation ki hai ki ya shayad unna ne na sune hai but unna nu clarity nahi hai ki tusi ki karde ho. Um sade viewers layi thoda ja dasso ki what is sik uh, coalition and, and what kind of work do you guys do? And so the Sikh Coalition is a civil rights organization mm-hmm. and we focus on the Sikh experience in America. And basically what we want to do is make sure that we're protecting the civil rights and the civil liberties of Sikhs across this country mm-hmm. in areas such as community development, mm-hmm. educational programming, uh communications work to help raise the Sikh profile and create awareness about Sikhism and the Sikh people. Um and then also in advocacy work where we work on policies that are really important to the Sikh community. Mm-hmm. And then I'm the legal director and the legal team works on um helping Sikh Sikhs in America deal with certain struggles and challenges that we might face, um including employment discrimination or harassment in the workplace, mm-hmm. racial profiling, um religious rights issues and of course hate crimes and school bullying types of cases mm-hmm. so uh, i mean that's a, a pretty uh, a wide scope but when it comes to the kinds of issues you guys deal with um you know your organization is very robust you're handling all this stuff uh, now coming to your specific role um you're the legal director i'm sure um as an organization that works primarily dealing with legislation and policies and helping people out with their legal needs if they meet the criteria uh what does your role um entail So as a legal director, I coordinate and manage all of the legal work. Okay. Um there's three attorneys and a legal client manager that also work on the legal team. Mm-hmm. And um together the the uh, three other attorneys besides me, I should say. So mm-hmm. together our team kind of is the first line of defense when it comes to community members that have any sort of legal issue, um whether it's an employer that's not giving them an accommodation at work to where one of their five articles of faith or whether it's having been um a child that's been bullied in school because of their juda or you know because of their articles of faith mm-hmm. um any of those kinds of issues and then we also we you know we also kind of run the spectrum because we do a lot of coordination with other civil rights organizations and community groups because a lot of the issues that are facing that the sick community is fa- are facing are also being faced by other minority communities in America. Yeah, so my job and the legal team's job is really to kind of coordinate 
all of that work and manage the initiatives that we have moving forward to try to make living in America a better experience for the Sikh community in general. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, and, and that is definitely a tall order. Um, so once again, we thank you for your work in this regard. Um, you know, oftentimes, people don't know that they have liberties, freedoms, rights, and kis karke han kyun cheez a exist kar diye but it's uh, because of folks like you doing the good work in the in the background um yeah. amrit obviously the big topic of discussion now is coronavirus um right. its impact uh, across the world across communities across various disciplines um you know being in the east coast it a kafi fresh a kafi um is vele it a increase ho raha infection the spread the and the people that are dealing with this right now um who are being hit the hardest are our medical professionals um doctors nurses healthcare workers um una de is time una de bhi rights no uh, protection the lord right um so you know first off um has the sick coalition documented any issues that have been affecting mm -hmm. sick healthcare professionals who are on the front lines responding to this uh virus we have actually and we recently um <coughs> earlier this week put out guidance for healthcare professionals mm -hmm. specific to what they're dealing with with the covid-19 outbreak and the corona this new novel coronavirus mm -hmm. what we've noticed over the last week or so especially is that um a number of sick healthcare professionals who work at different hospitals mm -hmm. um you know being the frontline defense in dealing with covid-19 patients mm -hmm are having to um uh, deal with brand new updated hospital policies. Mm -hmm. In addition to the hospitals updating their policies, the CDC has also updated their policies. Mm -hmm. And so what we're seeing is um that in addition to the fact that there's a mass nationwide shortage of appropriate masks to prevent the transmission of a really contagious mm -hmm. disease with COVID-19. We're seeing a lot of hospital administrations uh require their staff to um shave all of their facial hair so that they can form a fit uh they can pass a fit test for the N95 which is a certain kind of face mask that's really more readily available than mm -hmm. other face masks for different hospital administrations. Mm -hmm. So what we've noticed over the last week or so is a number of sick doctors reach out to us because this is kind of a brand new occurrence where um you know the message is all hands on deck mm -hmm. and hospitals are just requiring all of their healthcare professional staff across the board to come forward and to meet the fit test requirements for the N95 mask mm -hmm. and we know that that's a mask that doesn't work for everybody and it's not just about sick and facial hair it's about people that you know just might have a face shape that doesn't really fit well with that type of mask mm -hmm. a lot of women can't form a proper seal with that type of mask mm -hmm. just because women have a more narrow face mm -hmm. and so it's the type of situation where um you know it's a lot of people are having trouble with it mm -hmm. and for sick especially where you have a specific religious practice in place mm -hmm. of maintaining our hair uncut mm -hmm. to be told that you either have to shave your beard or your facial hair and put on this mask or risk being terminated or suspended from your right. position right. that you worked so hard to achieve is a really difficult position and you know we have been working with doctors and healthcare professionals for the past several days mm -hmm. to help them understand how we can balance these interests and the best possible way for us to help them move forward mm -hmm. in either getting that religious accommodation from their hospital administration mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or finding masks that will fit them better uh do you think i mean i i was going to ask you you know what your recommendation would be for these professionals who are um you know encountering these types of situations but you did just answer that very well for me thank you um do you think that as the cases continue to rise um and and of course hospitals nationwide are experiencing these shortages um you know the religious accommodation that's something that um our sick healthcare workers doctors um is something that that is um you know easily doable for them do you think they're going to have any challenges in doing this right now um you know and and where how 
to what extent can Sick Coalition help them? Well, you know, Ashmita, these are such unprecedented times. There's really no clarity as to whether hospitals um, could be justified or held justified in suspending religious mm -hmm. accommodations for these healthcare professionals because what we're dealing with are some safety concerns that we as a society just haven't dealt with to this level. And so um, much of the legal part of it is unclear at this point. But what I can say is, you know, if you pick up any newspaper or go online to any major news outlet, you'll know that standards in the healthcare community have been so relaxed because we have this massive shortage mm -hmm. in respirators and masks mm -hmm. that um, the CDC, for example, is telling healthcare workers to just put on a bandana. Um, and so we know that with such relaxed standards, um, to, to force somebody to violate their religious beliefs and put on um, a mask that could jeopardize their safety or patient care mm -hmm. is something that just, you know, might not stand up as well mm -hmm. um, in a court of law down the road. Mm -hmm. So right now, as, a, as an organization, we're continuing to sort of monitor these cases and mm -hmm. we're definitely asking healthcare professionals um, to review the guidance that we've put out. But if they have a specific situation that they're dealing with, that they reach out to our legal team directly so that we can at least advise them um, because every situation is a little bit different. And, you know, if the hospital they work for is a public hospital versus a private hospital, all of those things kind of come into play. Mm -hmm. um, and so our goal, obviously, is to help people obtain that accommodation mm -hmm. and not have to compromise their beliefs. And we expect that nobody should have to do that. And right as an organization will fight for anyone that's being put in that position. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I just want to make sure people know that we are here as a resource if they need us to help Absolutely. guide them in that process. That's really wonderful. Um, and, and just to reiterate, when Darshkan Dasna Chawangi just that Amrit Ne Dasya is really that if you see um, sick uh, doctor or healthcare worker, he is really that you are in a hospital care that you see your case, you shave your face, you don't have to see your پاک کے آ سکدے کم تے یا تہاڈی نوکری خطرے چ ہے اس چیز دے کر کے تسی ضرور سے کولیشن نو ریسورس دی طرح یوز کر سکدے ہو او تہاڈے بہاف تے ضرور کوشش کرن گے لیگلی تہاڈی ہیلپ کرن لے بٹ امرت ور گنا سٹاپ ہیئر فار کوئک بریک ام درشک تسی بھی سڈ نال جڑے رہو جس طرح تانو پرومس کیتا سی اے پروگرام ایسے طرح جاری رہے گا بٹ مل دے ایک چھوٹی جی بریک تو بعد ब्रेक तो बाद एक बार फिर सारे अंदर स्वागत है तुम वेख रहे हो स्पैशल प्रोग्राम जस हेल्पलाइन जो शुरू किया है इस पूरे हफ्ते चल भी रहा है फॉर दी सोल परपज ऑफ कनेक्टिंग यू विद ईच अदर कनेक्टिंग द कम्यूनिटी ताकि जो ए ग्लोबल हैल्थ क्राइसिस चल रही है वो थोड़ी जी रिलीफ या एक दूजे की सपोर्ट के नाल आप सारे अगे वन तो इस सैगमेंट में सू जॉइन कर रहे हैं अमृत कौर द लीगल डायरेक्टर एट सिख कोलिशन अमृत वंस अगेन वेलकम बैक टू द शो ब्रेक तो पहले तुम दस रहे थे कि स्पेसिफिकली वन इट कम्स टू द करंट पेंडेमिक द करोना वायरस आउटब्रेक सिख हेल्थ केयर वर्कर्स आर बींग put um, in, in these uh, situations where they have to essentially choose between their religion and their job. Um, right. And of course, patient and their safety um, has been uh, jeopardized uh, and that's across the board, right? Um, but, you know, once we move away from some of the medical stuff uh, that's, you know, happening as a result of this outbreak, um, the COVID-19 crisis is going to have long lasting implications in every, um, you know, field, every sector outside of healthcare, right? So coming right. from a legal standpoint, especially with the kind of work you do at Sick Coalition, do you think that the civil rights or yeah, civil liberties, the issues on the Anwale Samaj, which we should be aware of, you know, moving forward? Well, there's a lot that we should be aware of, you know, moving forward. Well, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of civil liberties issues that are coming up that I think a lot of people just didn't realize. And um, for example, I myself am a parent to two children that are now at home e-learning, mm -hmm. and one of the things that um, we're worried that we're going to start seeing more of is cyberbullying. Mm -hmm. So many kids are learning 
on an internet e-learning platform now. Mm -hmm. And even though they do have, you know, most schools are providing some level of instruction, mm -hmm. um, the majority of that instruction is uh, is being taken, taken the form of some sort of internet platform. Mm -hmm. And so we have just recently released new guidance about um, what to do in cyberbullying situations for students um, for example, we want to make sure that kids, un uh, kids and parents have digital awareness. Okay. And um, there's a lot of information out there about what's harmful or negative content and a lot of information about what constitutes cyberbullying. Mm -hmm. And for the SICK community, um, you know, SICK school children are, are, you, are, are familiar with what bullying is in a physical sense, mm -hmm. you know. In the physical or the verbal harassment that they deal with at their schools. Mm -hmm. In the cyber sense, though, we really want to urge parents and children together to learn how to protect themselves. Mm -hmm. And so we are telling parents how important it is to monitor their children's screen time and those online activities and to understand how to input appropriate private settings and to really establish rules with their children about platforms that they're using like Instagram and TikTok mm -hmm. and Snapchat and you know, um, YouTube and all of that. And mm -hmm. we want this to be a time where sick families really sit down and engage with each other to understand what their kids are dealing with and what they're experiencing. And, you know, we, we want people to understand that cyberbullying is a real problem. Mm -hmm. And bullying in general is hurtful, harmful, unwanted, aggressive behavior that happens kind of on a repeated basis. And mm -hmm. cyberbullying is the exact same thing, except it takes place online, you know? and that's something like mean or harmful texts, mm -hmm. social media posts that are negative or intended to spread rumors right. um, that include embarrassing or fake images, you know, threatening messages. Those are all the kinds of really important things that we're going to see uh, probably more of, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. And so we want people to be aware of that. And and if your child is experiencing that, that is a civil rights violation. Mm -hmm. um, so, so that's one aspect of it. Um, and then some of the other areas that we're, we're ex expecting to see arise in civil rights and civil liberties violations, um, the sick community is no stranger to hate crimes and racial profiling mm -hmm. and bias mm -hmm. in general. We know that um, with the characterization of COVID-19 as the Chinese virus mm -hmm. or the Asian virus, right. Those kind, that kind of bigotry and that kind of rhetoric is really harmful to not just the East Asian communities, but the South Asian communities too. Of course. Because the Sikh community obviously has dealt with so much of that bias mm -hmm. um, and those hate crimes and you know those incidents for the last 20 plus years. Mm -hmm. um, and we can just expect to see growth in that area as well as, um, as as there are outlets and scapegoats and targets mm -hmm. for people that are just upset that right. our society is having to deal with COVID-19 right now. Right. Um, Amrit, when it comes to, I think the, the hate crimes is absolutely a major concern. Um, as a minority, you know, that is something that everyone um, should be concerned about, especially, uh, you know, when that kind of rhetoric is coming straight from the top. I'm sure you've seen some of those images circulating of um, recent speeches by President Trump where the official name for the virus COVID has been crossed out and inserted and instead Chinese has been written um, so he can deliver that in his speeches. Um, you know, in a situation like that where, you know, like current times where um, the, the, the policy makers, the decision makers, they are the ones that are putting out the rhetoric. Does that make your job harder or does that actually um, embolden an organization like yourself because you're able to get more done, you're just doing more? Uh, I think it's a little bit of both. It makes it harder because uh, we're obviously just going to be much busier. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, there's always the fear that policies and laws and the system that we rely on isn't mm -hmm. going to back us up. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, a court of law is never black and white, mm -hmm. but, but having the law there on your side is always really helpful. And um, if our Justice Department or 
if our government isn't working with us, mm -hmm. then that can be very difficult to move the needle forward. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, it really emboldens an organization like the Sick Coalition mm -hmm. to go out there and do the grassroots type of work that we were meant to do and that we've grown as an organization doing. Mm -hmm. Because we want to take that type of rhetoric and that type of bigotry as a call to action. Mm -hmm. And so much of what we do is focused on empowering the sick community. Mm -hmm. And so we want to use this opportunity to kind of flip it back mm -hmm. on the same people and the same system that is perpetuating the, that sort of negativity and that sort of threatening harmful behavior. Mm -hmm. And we want to kind of strengthen the sick community <laughs> to come out and have a voice and make sure that our voice is heard. And so to that end, um, we're doing a lot of work uh, behind the scenes on various policies and, you know, work. we've kind of created a coalition mm -hmm. that we work with of other sort of like-minded organizations that have a similar type of focus mm -hmm. and are making sure that, you know, we um, are engaging with the sick community in all the ways that we can um, you know, from with the social distance orders and in effect to make sure that the sick community understands that if we want to be taken into account, then we have to exercise our rights and we have to Absolutely. exercise our voices. Mm -hmm. And we have to make sure that we are taking control of this narrative mm -hmm. and making sure that it doesn't come back on us. And the big part of that has to do with creating awareness about sickism and about the sick community mm -hmm. and helping the sick community understand how to engage with others outside of the sick community mm -hmm. just to help them understand who we are and how rich our background is. Yeah, that's wonderful. I'm going to have to stop you here again for a small commercial break. Darshak to see you in a short break, the discussion is going to be so long. We'll see you in a break. ब्रेक तो बाद एक बार फिर सारे अंदर स्वागत है तो उसी वेक्टर स्पेशल प्रोग्राम जस्ट हेल्पलाइन तो आज जो नॉर्मली स्केड्यूल प्रोग्राम है उन्होंने डिसरप्ट करके एक स्पेशल प्रोग्राम क्रिएट की था ताकि इन्हीं डिफिकल्ट टाइम्स वे जब आए दूध जदी मदद करके आगे वध सकेंगे मेरे नाल हूँ ज्वाइन करें मिनु Ms. Amrit Kaur, uh, the legal director at Sikh Coalition. Amrit, break the pallet to Sanu Dasresi. Some of the civil liberties violations that we can expect as a as a nation moving forward um, uh, through this coronavirus pandemic. Um, you also talked a little bit about cyberbullying. Uh, they're out of school, they're at home, they're spending more time online. Everyone is spending more time online, right? Um, on just a personal level, you mentioned your your mom of two kids. Jo um, sare viewers, you know, unano shad maybe lagda hoy ki unade bache dinal cyber bullying ho rhi hai, but they're not sure and bache dinal khul ke gal nahi kar sakte is gal baare. Do you have any recommendations? How can people, you know, first identify that this is even taking place with their kids if their kid doesn't. Um, outright share that with them, which, you know, is, is I, I'm assuming a rare scenario. Um, yeah, I think for a lot of parents, they just have to be closely monitoring mm -hmm. their kids' internet usage, you know, so that includes all those apps that I talked about before, mm -hmm. like TikTok and Snapchat mm -hmm. and Facebook and Instagram. Mm -hmm. um, the parents, you know, as a parent, um, you should know your child's passwords and passcodes mm -hmm. and um, also, I think something that's really important is to understand that you should try to create a relationship where your child knows that you're not judging them right. for their online behavior, but right. you just, you know, you want to monitor what they're doing because you, while you can, you can uh, institute rules for your child, mm -hmm. other people might not be doing the same thing for of their course. child, yeah. right? Um, and so helping par parents sort of understand how to engage with their children um, on this issue is to kind of encourage a more open conversation and discussion, mm -hmm. um, understanding what those passcodes are, mm -hmm. um, looking out for signs with your child if their personality is changing, if, they're fe if they themselves are feeling more aggressive mm -hmm. and not listening. These are all kinds of indications that something is wrong 
or you know yeah. your child is dealing with something on an emotional level that maybe they haven't already talked to you about mm -hmm. and then we highly recommend that as parents learn more mm -hmm. um, and you know are continuing to sort of monitor their children's e-learning and internet usage mm -hmm. they um, if they start to see that their kids are dealing with some of this cyberbullying mm -hmm. They take immediate steps. For example, mm -hmm. we we tell parents that they should be taking screenshots, um, okay. you know, of those text messages and images, mm -hmm. which include dates and times, right. you know, handles like the 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 names, the handles of um, people that are right. posting negative and harmful right. content, and writing down descriptions of of mm -hmm. what's being posted. Mm -hmm. um, we're asking that parents then immediately block those individuals okay. so they can't contact their children anymore and then also okay. report those individuals to the um, the internet platform right you know if you, right. if you report that content to Facebook or to Instagram then they will take that seriously mm -hmm. and um, if it's if it's kind of reached that level where it is threatening and it is harmful mm -hmm. that incident should be reported immediately and because we're all in this together and you know the physical school isn't working and everything is yeah. virtual. Yeah, it should still be re it should still be reported to the school right. because during those school hours, especially, and even if it's not during school hours, but you know, it's there's a school affiliation there. Exactly. The school districts are still responsible, and they Absolutely. need to help you as a family deal with what's happening, mm -hmm. especially you know when it's students within that school district. Mm -hmm. In addition to that. Um, Families can always contact the, the SIC Coalition. Our legal team has a lot of expertise in helping children who have been bullied. Mm -hmm. We've worked with the Department of Justice as Office of Civil Rights. Mm -hmm. So we have a really great understanding of how and when complaints need to be filed to that level, how and when school districts need to be notified mm -hmm. and how to deal with them. Um, and we do have a lot of tips in helping parents understand how to talk to their children and engage with their kids about all of this and you know we're happy to then um, help connect people mm -hmm. to trained counselors and professionals mm -hmm. that can also help families really get through this type of experience and the reality is we're not in this alone everyone's here together yes. and you know we grow we grow up together in this country and you know as generations and generations go by um, we understand that we need to kind of reach back and help each other move forward mm -hmm. so I think it's really important that people continue to understand they can always reach out to an organization like ours um, or others if they're comfortable with that you know to get the kind of help that they need because no child should have to suffer because of this. Yeah, absolutely. And I think the main message here um, for the audience is first of all, you have to create a good relationship with your child. You don't feel like you're judging them every thing. You can open them up and open them up and talk to them. You can tell them what they're facing, what they're facing. And today, there are a lot of problems that we don't have to do this. They exist um, on the social media platforms बच्चे यूज कर देते वो देते एक वक्री निगरानी राख के ही या पाऊं नानु प्रोटेक्ट कर सकते हैं अगर कोई उनानु बुली कर रहे हैं ऑनलाइन या कुछ उनानु गलत कह रहे हैं उन प्लेटफॉर्म्स दे सो पेरेंट्स दी इन्वॉल्वमेंट दे नाल ही ए चीज टैकल हो सकती है अमरत वंस अगेन आई मस्ट स्टॉप यू फॉर ब्रेक ह ब्रेक तो बाद एक बार फिर सारे अंदर स्वागत तो सी वेख रहे हो स्पेशल प्रोग्राम जस्ट हेल्पलाइन ते मेरे नाल जुड़े हुए हैं गेस्ट अमृत कौर द लीगल डायरेक्टर एट सिक कोलेशन अमृत यू आर टेलिंग अस अ लॉट ऑफ वंडरफुल यू नो रिसोर्सेस सिक कोलेशन ऑफर्स टू आर कम्युनिटी एंड इस वर्किंग one of the big things that's going to happen or is already happening actually as a result of uh, COVID-19 is um, the effect on uh, unemployment uh, numbers, right. right? So that is a big, big concern right now. The stimulus package is, you know, in the headlines every single day, what it's going to do for, um, you know, uh, workers who really need that financial help, who um, are either furloughed or out of a job. When it comes to the sick community, um, people who are 
uh, within our community, shift workers or part-time workers or gig workers who may not have the same security um, that a traditional salaried or full-time position might provide. Um, you know, what should they uh, know um, in terms of resources available to them, especially through Sikh Coalition, so that they um, are not uh, treated unfairly or discriminated against um, during this crisis? So we have recently put out what we call a federal and state unemployment, Medicare and welfare benefits mm -hmm. document. Mm -hmm. And we actually um, put it out as a Google Doc that okay. is we hope being shared across the board because we wanted this to be a living document. As we all know, things are changing on a daily, sometimes hourly basis. Um, and I know that our, our advocacy team and some of our legal team members are pouring through um, the stimulus package to understand what it includes. And as soon as that is signed off on, I, you know, I, I we expect that to happen hopefully tomorrow at some mm -hmm. point um, mm -hmm. or, or early next week. Mm -hmm. And um, we're, I know that our team and a number of other organizations are going to be pouring through it to make sure that we understand it and mm -hmm. are in a position to really explain what it all mm -hmm. provides um, for you know, Americans in general and the Sikh community in so many different ways. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, we have tried to create a resource that helps kind of break down information um, at the federal level, at the state level, mm -hmm. and in some cases at a more local level with mm -hmm. municipalities. Mm -hmm. And we've also tried to break this information down um, for what it means for people who are citizens versus people who are not citizens. Right. Because um, that can be that can be different, and um, your uh, immigration status mm -hmm. can have an impact on um, your eligibility for certain resources and benefits. And and we just want to make sure everybody is aware and understands and is fully informed, mm -hmm. so that the Sikh community can make the very best decisions possible based on all the information that they have. Mm -hmm. So the side that we've created um, is kind of our, it's an opportunity for us to help people understand what resources they have mm -hmm. um, through, you know, the Department of Labor and through, um, and what their rights are under um, different laws like the Family Medical and Leave Act where it comes to taking um, paid time off to deal either with their own illness mm -hmm. or with an illness of a family member or, you know, right. as parents having to now take time to teach your children and provide yeah. instruction for them at home. Um, and we definitely understand that there is a number of people in the community that are dealing with really traumatic mm -hmm. financial concerns yes. as a result of COVID-19 and the shelter in place and shutdowns of mm -hmm. so many businesses. So we've tried to kind of consolidate resources on the types of um, benefits they can get mm -hmm. through either the Department of Agriculture if they're um, in the agricultural industry or Health and Human Services, um, housing allowances. We've, we've created a resource packet for people that are eligible for resources through the United States Small Business Administration okay. to sort of help guide them on yeah. um, loans and you know what's available. Right. Um, also, we've we created a frequently asked section to help people <laughs> navigate through Medicaid and Medicare mm -hmm. and chip <clears throat> coverage. And you know a lot of that varies by state. Mm -hmm. So we try to make it as simple as possible. People can go to our our uh, resource and they can just click on their state and then, you know, hopefully figure out what's available um, to them based on where they live. Mm -hmm. And, you know, besides that, we are updating these documents um, on a pretty much a daily basis. We, okay. we want to make sure we're getting as much information out there as possible. And, mm -hmm. you know, at the end of the day, like I said, what we hope to do is just make sure that the Sikh community and the Punjabi community is as informed as they can be, mm -hmm. you know, especially the elderly community. We don't want them to be worrying right now about their prescription drug mm -hmm. plan, yeah. or um, we don't want anybody to worry right now right. about whether they have the resources to get tested for COVID-19 or mm -hmm. seek treatment, you know, or yeah. be or be able to, to par participate in any sort right. of benefits program. Right. 
we want people to have that information and be able to figure out for themselves what works and what doesn't work and, Mm -hmm. you know, do the best that they can for themselves and their families. Right. Um, And uh, some of the information you mentioned to me, uh, folks can access directly at your website, I assume? Yes, it's all on our website. It's all on the website. Like I so said, it's such a screen that they can see on the website. Likhi hoye that sickcoalition.org. Once again, on the website sickcoalition.org, screen this village. So no, dikhri hoye ki odat ja ke tu se jo sari chiza amrit kya riye documents jo ne 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 research karke tu adale daily update kar riye tu adale resource o ban sakde agar tu si kisi tangi vich hoye jis tarah pa hone gal kar rahe si pa me unemployment ya tu adale healthcare benefit. If it's the uh, related cheese that this is rude in resources no check out Karo um, Amrit unfortunately we don't have a lot of time uh, mm-hmm. I want you you know in closing to, to to give our viewers a message about how and when they can utilize sick coalition the sick coalition is here for the sick community 24 hours a day seven days a week our staff is completely dedicated to helping the sick community through this time of crisis and really any other time as well. Mm-hmm. Um, we just want people to know that we're here to address their legal needs and we, we do that for free. We provide free legal aid. Mm-hmm. Um, all of our services are free and we're here to address those legal needs to help empower their communities mm-hmm. to make sure that we're advocating for policies that benefit the sick community, mm-hmm. um, to make sure that our children are receiving the safe education that they need to receive and that we're raising the sick profile so that everyone across the board has awareness about who sicks are mm-hmm. and how much we actually bring to the culture and the fabric of America. So I hope people kind of take away from this that we're here as a resource and we're willing and ready to help however we can. Mm-hmm. Wonderful. And once again, I'm going to thank you so much for your time. We understand that uh, you and your whole team is incredibly busy right now. So we really appreciate you taking the time and Sade viewers know what you have to know that what you are using resources or use and what you are doing in which area you are involved in this area. I think that's very, very valuable. Um, we hope that you or uh, folks from your team will be jo- uh, joining us again in the near future. Just when you have developed it, you have to update it. You have to share it and share it with you. But here I'd like to say goodbye. Thank you so much for coming on. Thank you. Thank you. I would like to say that you are going to be a special program Just Helpline. This program is going to be a part of this segment. But the program is going to be a part of this segment. It is going to be a part of the end of April. Uh, any questions? If you want to know any questions, if you want to know any questions, you can write a letter to help us. You can write a helpline at justbroadcasting.com. या व्हाट्सएप पे सानू फोन कर सकदे हो पमिस टोंडी व्हाट्सएप पे नहीं तो सी साडे ऑफिस फोन कर सकदे हो ते लाइव तक कॉल इन लेंदे हमेशा बट इथे मेनू इजाजत है सस्रिया काल